back Savvy Serena. Today I am working in my laundry closet which needs to be cleaned up really bad. So that's what I'm working on first. So I've got my system up. You know how I like to do things. I, it takes you one second to figure out what you're going to do. So it's three things that you're going to do. You're either going to throw it away, which I have a garbage bag to throw items away with. You're either going to put it away, so I have a big basket that I'm going to put things away with. And then I've got another box for giveaway, which it might end up going into um, a trash bag if I have to. So it takes you one second to pick something up and go, okay, is this put away, giveaway, or throw away? You know within a split second what you're what needs to be done with it. It shouldn't take no more than a second. If it's taking more than a second, then nine times out of ten, it, it you're throwing it away or giving it away, depending on if it's broken or whatever. So I'm gonna work on this with that in mind. And we're going to start out with this first. all those clothes up from up there and now my washer and dryer is clean I do leave this up here and I use that for my dirty rag so they don't get put in the dryer they're microfiber and I don't want them in the dryer with a dryer sheet and ruin them so normally I hang those to dry air dry and they've been working great doing that but other than that my just that noise you heard was my top falling that's what that is. But, now that's all clean and that looks a heck of a lot better. I did put a, a few things in the baskets. So that way, um, more washing. Like my shouting stuff up there. But now, this is way better than it was before. Now I'm going to work on my shoe rack. Um, my shoe rack is kind of messed up. So I'm going to go through the same... <coughs> process again but a lot of the stuff is just keep <clears throat> I need to straighten it up to put um, other shoes on it and this just needs to be cleaned up a little bit rubber boots on the bottom um, and there's room for another pair of boots or shoes or whatever these are my husband's slippers and then we didn't have a place for our stocking hats and our gloves and so I stuck them in this which it hasn't gotten cold enough to be to use them yet we have been using the stocking hats but um, I've got my Texan gloves down in here too so that way we have a place where all the stuff is at. Um, and I bought these little things at Dollar Tree. They're on the cheap side, but for holding gloves and stockings and things like that, they do great. So that way they're here. I may switch it because um, I'm going to tackle this next. So I may end up switching this to there. Just so Miska can't get into it. Because she might figure out we're putting them here. And that would be enticing to her. She may pull them out and show them. I don't know yet. So we'll have to wait and see. I may end up moving that. Then that way my husband can put his work boots there. So we shall see. 
but that looks a whole lot better now that it's got some kind of system with it. I have the same issue here. Uh, this little white piece that's right here, this is a chair. We put a blanket on it. That's where Musco likes to lay, so it kind of keeps the chair from getting full of hair. But I drop my purse here and things, and this is a clutter spot too. It's a hot spot. As you can see, it's a ray of things on it. So I need to clean this off and have some kind of system for this. This is just a um, a little electric fireplace. We got a little fan there. So when I clean the carpet, I can dry it quicker. But I'm going to work on the top of this so it's not so chaotic. see I put my purse and my and those gloves I decided to move them in here because it'd be better if they were in here a way that I keep track of my keys uh, that's why I don't have a hook or anything on the wall I always buy a purse that's got like a metal um, like a little metal thing on it and I always hook I always have my keys on one of these little clip things whatever you call it and I hook my keys on it so um, they're always on my purse no matter where I'm at I've always got my keys I don't forget them and since I've been doing this I've been doing this for years I've never misplaced my keys I've always had them I've been doing this it becomes habit as soon as I come out of the vehicle I immediately clip them on and come on in the house I drop my purse and I always know my keys are there. Let me show you my piles. This first pile is stuff my husband needs to go through and put it where he wants it. Um, that is not actual. He put some stuff in that garbage can. He said it's not garbage. So he needs to go through all this, put it away, whatever he wants to do with it. This is stuff that I found while I was cleaning those three spots. So now I'm going to put all this away. And that's trash. So, this is how I divide everything up. This will be my husband's job. When he comes home, I'll go ahead and put this away so that way it's done and over with. Um, and then, which most of it goes in the kitchen because I'm seeing cleaning supply right there. So, that needs to go in the kitchen. But, it's not that difficult now. This is easier to maintain. I can walk around with that big basket. That's why I use it. I can walk around with that and put it where I need it to go. And that's done within like five minutes. And that just needs to be... I'll fill it up with some more stuff as the day goes on. And then that'll go out to the trash. So it's pretty simple when you break it up like that. To be able to... When you're organizing something or cleaning something up. It takes one second to figure out what you're going to do with it. Today I didn't have any giveaway because everything I wanted to give away was messed up or broken so I stuck it in the throwaway pile. But it takes one second to figure out whether you're going to um, give it away, put it away, or what I say? Give it away, throw it away, or put it away. It don't, And it takes a second to figure it out. Well, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And y'all come back now. You hear?